here at Dollar General. We got a nice assortment of what we used to have as pick mosquito coils. We got these. We've got citronella tea lights. One dollar for a dozen citronella tea lights. Light on, that's what the fire looks like right now. Okay. Here's what we got earlier. These are the citronella tea lights, and those are the coils. So I'm gonna Get this going, come back. Now this is the stand to hold the coil. I'll get that out in a minute. Here's the stand. I'll show you how this works in a second. So as you see, I've bent that up. And there's a point there on the end. Okay. On these coils, you'll see there's a slot. So each one of these is two coils. So there are eight coils in this package for a dollar. Let me separate that and we'll get back to it. So here we have our pick coil. Well, not a pick coil, I guess, anymore, but what used to be pick coils, for those of you who remember drive-in movies, fits in like this. Oh, here, we're gonna do a test. We get 12 of these for a dollar. We get eight of these for a dollar. We're gonna see how long they burn. Hopefully they'll keep away the June bugs are bugging me. And this we're lighting the narrow end. Is lit. As soon as it gets going, we'll put that out. Now we don't leave that burning. We're gonna put it out like that and have it smolder. This is coming over to this one. And there we go. So we'll time these and see how long each one burns. And we'll see how well it does at keeping bugs down note on this candle. Its timing may be a little off. I looked over a moment ago and it was out. A June bug. I bombed it. They've been buzzing around here and one bombed and put out the candle. I put dug him out but I think he landed in the fire so I well, took care of that June bug and then um, we relit the candle. We're still doing our tests to see how long they burn. That coil over there, as you can see, is still burning. You can see the coil burning. There's some ash. Now what happened was, and the way the log is cut, I guess it was unheated, and then this was able to touch the ground, so I've got it raised up. And it's burning just fine, it's not touching the log. That could prove to be a factor if you use these. Watch that it's not touching anything below. You may want to put something underneath. So, that would be the only negative I've got so far. You can see the candle still burning. There's still some wax. It's coming down though. The tea lights, like that one over there, like you can't see my finger, <laughs> and the one over there. The they have probably an inch high flame. This one's a half inch. This one had a kamikaze moth. Remember the June bug I told you about? Then we got a kamikaze moth, and if you look in there, you can kind of make him out against the wick. And I think he's really affecting how the wick is drafting up the uh, par paraffin. The first candle. Here, the other two made it about two hours each. This one made it almost three, but it had a lot of help with that from the bugs that messed with it. it was still doing really well. Now, I haven't 
I'm gonna wait till night when we really have some problem bugs and burn one of these to see what it does. We haven't tested it in real world. But right now we're doing a timing test. Apparently that beetle doesn't give a damn. Okay. Just so we know, this is a little over four hours into the burn of this coil. Still burning. Right now I'm going to guess six. I may or may not be awake for it. Just lit this coil. And it is 9.54. We're going to see how long it will burn. Because I fell asleep last night.